Ooh, don't often see you in here. Yeah, well, needs must. I'll have a large coffee to go, please, and a, uh... Well, I'll have a croissant if you had any. Oh, must be terrible having to rough it. Shall I, uh, chuck some hot chocolate in your coffee and then you can pretend it's a mocha? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Thought I'd uh, come in and catch up with some paperwork. It's only busy, then? No. I thought I'd come in and catch up on some paperwork. On a Sunday? Well, unlike you, I'm not allergic to my work, am I? Yeah. See ya. Bye. Have fun. No. I'll do that. I've done it. Besides, as to what we packed, we didn't use. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. If you'd like to see a counsellor, I'd be happy to pay. What? I don't know, really. You know, just everything. Yeah, there's no rush. Just something for you to think about. Thanks. I'm the one who needs counselling after everything that happened. Oh, not again. Can you try to be a little less selfish, please? Me? Selfish? Just make an effort, eh? Listen, we came back. It doesn't mean I have to like it. No, you too. I mean, I am really sorry for causing all this trouble, you know, like spoiling your honeymoon and that. And the wedding? Yeah, well, it can't be out. It flaming could have. I'm going for some fresh air. This has to stop. Now. I can't believe you're acting so spoilt. Sarah, don't fall out over me, OK? Hey! You couldn't uh, carry some plates with on the way, could you? <laughs> oh, she ain't got much of a sense of humour, your missus, has she? Yeah, that's cos his missus hasn't got a lot to smile about at the moment. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. How is your David? Oh, uh... for God's sake! Why does everyone keep having to ask about him? What have I said now? Nothing. Can we have two coffees when you're ready, Becky? <laughs> Can you stop snapping everyone? Everyone keeps asking about him. He should be congratulating us. Babes, you're going to have to stop thinking about him. How can I? He's in my face all the time. Oh, I can't believe my mum's giving him his room back. Well, where else is he supposed to stay? She was dead excited about getting a room. Chase, oh, we're gonna have to move out, get a place for our room. With what? I'm not working, remember? Well, he's done a great job, and he's even blocked our means of escape. Oh, I am sick of this. Why does everything have to come back to him? Because he does, Jace. Oh, look, I'm not in the mood. Let's just go home. We don't want a coffee now. Well, I do. It took me half an hour to get here. Well, fine, I've two. Flipping heck. That's married life. I'm glad I'm single. She's got a lot on her plate, that's all. What, and you aren't? Here, yeah, listen, I'm gonna have to shift these. Health and safety and that. <laughs> Give us a shout when you need them. And then I can taunt you with them. <laughs> you know, it's just that Todd goes back today. Well, I thought that I could go with him. I know, I know, I know that it's short notice. Just a bit. And I know a week's a long time. Too right. Can I go then? Yeah. Hi. Oh, hiya. Oh, hiya, Sarah. Hiya. Eileen, can I ask you a really, really big favour? Go on, then. Jason and me can't move in, can we? Well, not really, Sarah. I mean, we're uh, crowded enough as it is, and, you know, what with the baby coming? Well, it's just till he's back at work. But, to be honest, Sarah, I thought your mum had more room than us. I would have thought she wanted you there, what with David and everything. Oh. Streetcars. Oh, hello, stranger. Jerry. I'll let you out then. Huh? I can't believe he's arrived just as I'm going. Well, I thought I'd go to London with Todd to stay the week. All right. Well, that is okay, isn't it? Yeah, why shouldn't it be? Well, it's just that first Sarah comes to see me and then you, but neither of you together. So. Why does that worry me? Sarah, what, what, why has she been to see you? Not moving in. Good, no. 
Uh, yeah, of course I knew. I just didn't realise you'd been round, that's all. Well, I'm sorry I can't say you yes, love. I really am, and I know it must be hard over there. No, no, it's all right, ma'am. It's OK. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, see ya. Look who's come to see you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, are you stopping for a bit? Because uh, if you are, I'll take Beth and do some shopping. She just wants someone to stand over at knives. Just thought you'd like a bit of company, that's all. I can stay as long as you like. Great. Come on then, Beth. Is your coat in the hall? Yeah. OK. Um, I've got my mobile, if you need me. Go on, love. Imagine ringing your mum if you felt depressed. That'll make you want to top yourself, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, how are you feeling, anyways? I don't know, really. Yesterday I felt like jumping out of a window. Today I thought, nah, I just use the door. Right. Listen, do you think, you know, you could make us a cup of tea, something like that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, like, maybe some toast and that? Yeah. There's someone else running around for you now. She just hates me for ruining a wedding. And I can't say I blame her, really. So, uh, have you some of that at home yet? You know he's not. You see, I can understand you being mad at me, Sarah, so what, why can't he? He does. Is that why he's avoiding he's you? He's not avoiding me. Right. I reckon they'll last a month, if that. What's up with you? I'm on crutches. I'm about to cancel my honeymoon. Will that do you? Is there something going on between you and Sarah? No, of course not. You getting the drinks in, ma'am? Mm. Thank you. Mine's a pint. Well, trust you to turn up when it's my round. Actually, I can't stay. Doing me penance. Because of jail wasn't bad enough. Oh, that's a pity. I'm off down to Todd soon. Are you joking? Yeah, I'm going to go back with him for the week. Hey, why don't you come with us? Oh, I can see how Geordie's face when I tell her that. Mm. Perhaps not, eh? Mm. So, did you get me a present? Yeah, but I can't give you that now, can I? You cheeky. <laughs> I better get back. I've got to help me dad in the shop. Yeah, I can see you. See you out. How did he seem to you? Uh, just like always. Not depressed or anything. Not really. Yeah, he's putting on a front, that's the problem. Why? Well, you don't think he'll do it again, do you? No, no. Of course he won't. No. Okay. Thanks for coming. So you finally decided to come home then? Yeah, I went for a drink with our kid. It's allowed, isn't it? Well, you could have told me. Right, like you told me before you went running to me, ma'am. We'll discuss it later. No, we'll talk about it now. Why'd you speak to me, mum, about staying there? Because it's the only other option. You could have spoke to me first. Because I knew you'd say no! Look, you two, I mean, I'll understand if you want to move out. No, we don't. You know what? You're doing me heading with all this! Uh, sorry. It's just, uh, well, we're off now. Yeah, I'm coming. Right, so, uh, see you then. Yeah, see you. Look, shall I make you a cup of tea? Or? Shut up! Right, that's it. You take care. Yeah, I will. <clears throat> it's been good. Yeah, it has. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, uh, you're welcome any time, you know, with or without Sarah. Oh, don't be daft. It won't come to that. Still, you know where I am if you need me, OK? Hey, don't worry. Me and Sarah are solid, all right?
What do you reckon? What did you make up by yourself? There's a competition for the fireworks. They're gonna judge all the guys and we wanna win, don't we, Finn? Yep. She needs some clothes, obviously. She? Yeah, it's a girl. Well, guy Fox were a guy, I mean, clues in his name. So? So, you're gonna have the leader of the gunpowder plot in a dress? Maybe he was a cross-dresser. They weren't mentioned in any history lesson I ever had. Anyway, the blokes dressed like women in them days. Will you two come and get your breakfast? Come on, Finn, we'll finish it later. There we go. Oh. Mummy, we'll do fireworks. Oh, I don't know, sweetheart. We'll have to dash your mummy. Please. <laughs> mm. It's not like you. Mm. Fine by me. Mm. Right, OK. The mark on the dress is here, so make sure they see it, OK? Right, OK. Now, you won't forget, will you? No, I won't forget. Oh, uh, I can take it if you like. Save Jason some trapes in. No, it's all right. I don't mind. It's good for me rehab. Walking to the precincts and back. Oh, and tell them I want it back quick as. Why? Are you going to wear it at the salon? No, we're organising a new set of photos because we're not happy with the ones we've got. You did take photos, though, didn't you? Mm, yeah, yeah, we got some really lovely ones. One of the police at the back of the church. Jason with his arm round me, looking totally freaked. Yeah, we just want one or two we might actually be able to put in an album. And you and Graham weren't there, so we thought, you know, maybe you could come too. That's lovely, thank you. So what do you reckon about the fireworks? Are we up for it? Oh, I think so. Or well, should we get a little box and just let them off in the garden? <laughs> no! <laughs> Out, eh? We can go to the Italian afterwards, my treat. I don't think so. Oh, come on, indulge me. I want my whole family to have a night out. Everybody included, nobody left out. Come on, what do you say? <laughs> Stand by me. Great. David, you up for it? Uh, yeah, sounds great, doesn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> Result. Mm. Oh, wait there, Jace. Love, let me help you. It's all right. I'm getting quite good on these now. Excuse me, folks. I've got a disabled customer coming through. Mind your backs. Yeah? Oh, there you are. Take your weight off your crutches, eh? <laughs> and, um, it's waitress service for you and all. Oh, so I love chicken pie and chips, please. Yeah, coming right up. Uh, do I get waitress service and all because I'm a pregnant woman? Getting cute like everyone else. I'm absolutely stuffed. That was fab bags. <laughs> well, I gave you double portions. You need building up. I'll come again. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Anytime. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, I'm on my way now. All right, cheers. Bye. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm meant to be at the hospital. I completely forgot. Oh. How much are you bags? Uh, call it three eighty. All right, here we go. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to cut. Oh, cheers. We get door for you. See ya. Nice one. See ya. And a uh, ham and tomato on brown for me, please. Got no butter. All right, love. Thanks. Yep. Hey, listen, if that leak gets any worse, we might get sent home. Oh, she will probably dock us pay and all, knowing that matter. She can't do that. Liam wouldn't let her. What, you reckon Liam has stop it? You have got him all wrong. No, he likes her doing dirty work. Do you think so? Yeah. And I tell you, someone should have told that Maria not to bother buying him a puppy, because he's already got a Rottweiler. Oh. I just thought he might fancy a sandwich. Has my mum put you up to this? I'll keep an eye on him, see if you can get him to open up. No, eat your sign in silence if you want. In fact, I might prefer it. Oh, God. That's what I think it is. What? What is that, sir? What's it doing here? Look, this, um. Hugh's massive in it. I've, I've got to get this back for our Sarah anyhow. I'll, I'll see you in a bit, Amber. David, wait! Oh, what? Don't push me away. Well, then, don't try following me about. I know you're hurting. So she has been speaking to you then? No, she doesn't need to. I can see it with my own eyes. You're really unhappy, and balling it up and pushing me away it won't help. You finished? <sighs> yeah. So is it my turn now to play amateur shrink? You don't have to make everything into a joke. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm pouring my heart out here and sharing my deepest thoughts. And? Look, me and you, we both know that all this is just an excuse for you to get close to me. <laughs> and why would I do that? Well, because you got the hots for me. <laughs> Come on, you know it's true. If you think that, then I mean, you definitely need treatment. You are deluded. You want putting in a straight jacket and locking up? I struck a raw nerve, Amber. I am trying to be a friend. 
things, let's face it, you have not got many. Whoops. Dirty rainwater. That will never come out. Yellow, uh, pink ones. Stick them on her arms. You may now kiss the bride. No way. Go on, I dare you. I'll give you a tenner if you do it. Uh, Fifteen pounds. What are you looking at? David? Is everything alright? Or is that a silly question? Uh. Well, no. I feel like everything's changed. Has it? Well, people are watching me and judging me. I think like I'm under 24-hour surveillance. Well, I think people are worried about you. I think that's understandable. Well, if they were worried about me, you know, they'd talk to me. But they don't. They don't come anywhere near. And even the people that didn't think I was a weirdo think so now. Well, they think that you're troubled and sad. Well, even Amber looks at me with pity, Mum, and I don't want a pity. I don't want anyone's. We want to show that we care about you. We love you. And we don't want to lose you. Hey, up. How'd you get on at the Aussie? Yeah, just a few more days on these. Oh, bummer. Oh, you are never still hungry. Where's the bag? What bag? I left a bag on this chair. Did you? Yeah, it was right here, blue carrier. Mm, well, no one's handed out in. Please don't mess, this is dead important. I'm not messing. Why? What were in it? Sarah's wedding dress. She will absolutely murder me if I've lost it. Well, what's a big panic? You're already itched. It'll be the shortest marriage in history if I've lost that dress. <laughs> well, what are you carrying it around for, Sado? <laughs> I was meant to take it to the cleaners, wasn't I? Hey? You've got it, aren't you? You're winding me up. I swear, I haven't seen it yet. I can remember now that you had it, but nobody's handed out in. Well, it's got to be here somewhere. Hey, you! I say, you'll do yourself a mischief. Sit down, right? Now, look. Becky, I've got to find that dress. All right. All right. It's not in bog. And I rang Roy because he ran his own for half an hour, but he hasn't seen her either. I feel sick. I hate to say it, Jace, but someone has swiped it. Yeah. Hey, don't look at me. I've just spent half an hour trying to find the thing. What am I going to do, Becky? Well, you could try and find another one just like it. Go home, tell her what's happened. No way, I can't do that. She will kill me. All right, yeah. Well, I could ask around if you like. What, you mean among local crooks? No. I mean, I could ask some regulars, see if they've seen out. But not anyone what knows your Sarah. In the meantime, why don't you try and find another dress? Well, I don't even know what make it is or where she got it from. Well, it's easy to find out. You just have to use your noddle. Oh, Jace. I'd just tell a man. It's only a dress. Are we going to walk or get a taxi? Well, I don't mind walking. Fine, you walk, we'll get a taxi. It's going to be cold out there. Well, can't we call a truce for Mum's sake? Well, whatever we're doing, can we do it quick, please, or else we'll miss the start? Right, just be a minute. Oh, babes, did you uh, take my dress to the cleaners? Yeah. Cool. You know, I was looking at it in the calf this morning, thinking how good it was. Oh. Is it, uh, well, was it expensive? Well, it weren't cheap. Yeah, right, because it didn't look very cheap. But is it one of them call it's one-offs? Hmm. Yeah, quite sure. Alexander McQueen made it for me. And has he got one of them shops in town? I'm joking, it's from Debenhams. Uh, can we go, please, or else it won't be worth going? Come on. Right. Okay. Come 
on you, Trouble. Yo, Jason, you going to bonfire? Yeah, yeah, should be good. Yes, good. Hey, Jerry. Hey, yeah. Hey, Kaylee and Finn have won the competition for the best guy. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Yeah, apparently it was what dazzling and, and different. different. Wow, where is it then? It's on the bonfire. Oh yeah. Look at that bonfire, Beth. Isn't it amazing, eh? Oh, that looks like my wedding dress. Can't be. Jace? Well, it's not, is it? Um, babe. Fire. You didn't know it was yours. It was in a bin bag. It was rubbish. Rubbish. Well, are you telling the truth? Yeah, I was with him. Because it cost a lot of money. Well, it's the most expensively dressed guy since the history of bonfire night. Sorry. You can share our sweets with you. Oh, I want me dressed back. Look, I'm sorry about this, but my kids aren't liars. They wouldn't have done it deliberately. A hundred pound wedding dress on the bonfire. You got something to do with this? No. It's my fault. Your yeah, I didn't take it to the cleaners, did I? So what? You just gave it to the neighbours and said, here, put it on the guy. I don't know how it ended up here. I left it in the cafe at dinner time. I went to the hospital, I came back and it was gone. Somebody must have found it and thought it was there to be chucked out. When I asked you, you told me you took it to the cleaners. I lied. I tried to buy time to get you another one, and I am going to buy you another one. I will get you the most beautiful, expensive designer dress in the whole world, okay? Do you hear that, Mum? Not even married a week and already he's lying to me. Sarah, wait! Sure. <laughs> How many times can I say I'm sorry? All right, yes, I was an idiot for leaving the dress in Roy's, but, well, someone else took you, not yeah, me. So he keeps saying. Please, babe. I'll see you later. See you, love. I'll be over now, sweetheart. Well, wait up. When are you going back in? Oh, I don't want to leave him on his own. Not yet, anyway. How is he? Well, he's not his usual self. Oh! <laughs> Will you say that like it's a bad thing, that? <laughs> Hello, my love. Hello, sweetheart. Want some breakfast? No, not really hungry, to be honest. Oh, well, you should have something, David. I'll put some toast on you. I already ate yesterday. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not ill, Gran. No, I know. Well, stop badgering him, ma'am. I just asked how he was. Look, I'm fine, OK? I'm not going to stick my head in the microwave. And I was wondering if maybe I could come back to work or something. Oh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. But I'm all right. There's nothing wrong with me. Actually, girl, you know, that might not be such a bad idea to help get back to normal. I mean, maybe just part-time to begin with, eh? See how we go, right? Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'll go jump in the shower, then. Oh. Hope it's not too much for him. It's a hair salon, girl, not a fire station. Mind you, I don't relish having to tell Sarah. See you later says that he left the dressing Roy's rolls. But the chavs next door swear that they found the dress in a bag of old clothes. Now, how did it get there? That's what I want to know. Well, it certainly is a mystery. Don't be sarcastic about it. I wasn't. Uh, uh, now, come on, Sarah, love it. Come on. I know you've had a rotten time of it lately, my darling, but you've got to put it behind you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not that bad. I mean, it's only my wedding dress that went up uh, in flames. Yeah, OK, just a minute, please. Just a minute. Now, I wanted to choose my time to tell you this, but, well, you're not going to like it much whenever I tell you. What? David wants to come back to work. Here? Well, yes, I mean, this is where he was, isn't it? After what that little freak's done to me? Do you know, I bet it was even him that took me wedding dress oh, and all. Oh, Sarah, come on, you can't keep blaming him for everything. <sighs> yeah, he's been through a lot. And it does seem to have changed after what's happened. Changed? That little psycho is responsible for every single misery that... Sarah! He nearly killed himself. Oh, I wish. Sarah! Oh, 
that little cry for help was just to ruin my big day. Why does nobody see that? All right, enough's enough. Now, come on. Oh, I'm the one that's had enough. Now, please, my darling, calm down. Do you know what, Gran? It's fine. Just have him back. Because the place will be burnt down to the ground within a month. <sighs> Look, I'm going for good. I think it's something about poor little David. I know he's a nightmare, babe, but come on, eh? He's your brother. He tried to top himself. He drove his wreck of a car into the canal. It's not the same thing. Why do people fall for his lies over and over again? So you still want to chuck your job in? You like it there? Oh, I'm not working with him, Jason. End of. I suppose that's us getting a place of our own knocked on the other day. If we're both not working. All oh, right, so that's what you care about, my wages. He wrecks our wedding. It's not five minutes since he put Beth in hospital. I'm just saying, we'll never move oh, out, will get we? it. Why would I expect you to understand? I'm only your wife. Sarah! On the house, that. Honeymoon period over, is it? It's not even flaming started yet. Bacon butchers to go. Don't gobble them, you'll get indigestion. <sighs> Perish the thought. Ignore her. Yours is over there, sweetheart. Cheers, girl. I shouldn't have made you swap with Beth last night. She practically kicked me to death. Yeah? Look, if you think I'm going off the deep end... If? Well, I'm going back to the salon. And I'm going to get an evening job as well. Well, I thought you said yeah, you were going to... Yeah, I said a lot of things, but... We need the money, it's a no-brainer. Well, you'd be knackered, won't you? Yeah, but it's be worth it. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can get away from the psycho. I don't care for that term, thank you very much. It's fine, Mum. Oh, please. Mum, how do you not fall for that? Right, well, the psycho's getting off. There was no call for that. Oh, great news on the job, Sarah. Oh, brilliant, Sarah. Yeah, it is. Just lay off your brother. Stand by. It's kind of like being a brain surgeon. Mm. There's no way I could wait on after a day on my feet in here. Mm. I have got the best incentive going. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I'm thinking like a two-bed flat or two up, two down, you know, just something that's us. Something that's me, Beth, Jason. You're so gonna stink of garlic. Ah, I don't care, I still love me. <laughs> <laughs> Does David have to do all the dogs, buddy? Well, do you expect us to let him loose on real-life customers with real-life hair? There's no shame in sweeping up, a job's a job. Your Oscar's in the post. Wow, you spoke to me. It's a one-off. Have you just come to check they've not killed each other yet? No. Yes. <laughs> well, they've been fine, actually. Been more than fine. Good. I would expect no less. Yeah, unless he's right in front of me. I just pretend he's not here. Oh. Works a tree. Sarah, grow up. Well, is having two jobs growing up enough for you, Mother? Leanne's giving me some shifts at the restaurant. It's fancy footwork. Mm. Evenings and weekends, you know, as and when. Fine. Long as you can cope. I can always cope. Not much choice in this family. Chippy tea, okay? I feel like cooking. Uh, yeah. As long as you remember me mushy peas and gravy. <laughs> it's been the same since you were about seven years old. Oh, yeah, seven. Had a full set of Ninja Turtles then. <laughs> and half a set of teeth. Oh, steady on, mother. Street cred in oh, that. Oh, stuff, street cred. How was work? Really? Well, you saw for yourself, didn't you? It went all right. Still a little bit worried about Sarah, though. She giving you a hard time? Well, no, I think she's pretending to handle me being there 24-7. What can you do, though? I mean, I need that job, Mum. Of course you do. She'll just have to let bygones be bygones. Yeah, that'll be the day, won't it? Anyhow, don't get on a case about her, because I reckon she is trying her best. Come on. Jace. Jason! Ah, uh, you'll be wanting to tell him about your brilliant minimum wage new job. Eh? Wonder where he is? Library? Church? Pub? <laughs> Looks like he's spending it faster than you can earn it. Scumbag. <sighs> mm. 
Hey, babe. I thought we were supposed to be saving. Yeah, well, a couple of pints won't make much difference, will it? Come on, sweet, I'll sit down. Just as well I have two jobs then, eh? Great, we can have doubles. Only messing. Charlie had this theory. He thought that all men should live together in big tower blocks and all women should live together in big tower blocks. <laughs> have you tried prison? You haven't been to prison, have you? No, only twice. Right. Anyway, you just thought that'd be a great way to live because we can drop our iron off, have our tea, and now we're in bed, back home. Oh, yeah, you were a charmer, all right, that Charlie. Well, that way, we can have a bevy with the lads, play a bit of cards, watch the footy, and then the women can sit around moaning about the fellas. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Right. So, where would all the kiddies live then? <laughs> I don't think you thought about that. Mm. With the women, I suppose? Mm-hmm. And you agree with this theory then, do you, Jason? Me? Yeah. No, I was just saying, it's what Charlie thought. Uh, it's what most men think, that's the problem. It is! Blokes <laughs> just want to be with other blokes, <laughs> drinking beer and pulling other birds. <laughs> they do. I'll tell you something else you used to say, if there were no bad women in the world, there'd be no bad men. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. And then he started getting... Beth last night. Seemed like she was up for ages. Oh, yeah, she was. And you know, it wouldn't do any harm if you got up with her every now and again. Yeah, no, I will. Well, yeah, you say that, but when it comes to it, you just pretend to be asleep. Well, I'll try, all right? Do you know, I'm working 24-7. I'd love to be sat here drinking tea all day. Well, it's not like I've got much choice, is it, babes, eh? Yeah, I know. I'm just tired. Right. <laughs> Get back to work. I'll see you later. See ya. It's not fair, is it, eh? She's working for the both of us. Yeah, but like you said, it's not as if you choose to go falling off balconies, is it? Ah, oh, you'll be working again soon enough. I hope so, unless Bill gives me a job at someone else. Well, I wouldn't if I were him. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I know, Julia, I know I'm the same. I mean, it's insomnia, isn't it? They call it insomnia. Yeah. Your mind's racing all night. I mean, you say to yourself, seven o'clock last night, I could have slept for England now, <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'm really alert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how sweet that. We're talking about lack of sleep. Right. Mm. You're right, darling. Sarah? Darling, what's the matter? Come here. Yeah, and I've told her to take her time. She's a bit fragile today, isn't she? Not half. But why don't you take her out and take her mind off things? Mm? She could do with a little bit of a cuddle, I think. What? Mm, a little bit of closeness. Oh, Jay. I'm talking about affection, Jason. Moral support, love. Right, yeah. <laughs> Sex. No. <laughs> anyway, come on here. Oh no, Audrey, please. Look, take the money, have a meal, enjoy yourself. No, I can't. Yes, right? you can. But Audrey, is this one of them situations where you're going to be offended if I don't take it? Oh, those situations are a myth, Jason. Honestly, come on, take the money. Thank you. I mean it. I'm really grateful. Well, do you know, I'm very glad she's got you. Because more goes on in that head than people give you credit for. Hmm? Looking forward to going out. I just... I can't believe I'm working two jobs just to blow it all on treats. All right, look. I wasn't going to tell you this, but, well, if it makes you relax, your grand gave me the money. My grand gave you the money to take me out? Yes. Oh, how sweet. Oh, that's my little one-legged like wonder's pride hurt. No. Well, listen, I don't care where it came from. Yours, mine, Granny's little handouts. I'm just looking forward to spending time with you. Good. Mm. And you smell nice, too. Babe, when we get there, there's something I want to read to you. At the restaurant? What, are you going to read to me the menu? I'm serious. Oh, what is it? You'll see. OK. And here's your wine. So, what was it you wanted to read to me? I was going to chuck it away, but then I thought you should hear it. Seems like you never got to hear it on the day. What is it? My wedding speech. Go on. <clears throat> OK. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you all for coming here to celebrate with us the happiest day of our lives. Today should have happened a year ago, but it didn't. When me and Todd were kids, my mum took us to see the Sea Lion show at the Safari Park off the M62. Nosley. Nosley, that's it. <laughs> Go on. Right, anyway, during the display, the Sea Lions did some tricks. One of them was a boy, and the other one was a girl. And the boy was rubbish and kept messing things up. And Todd said we should get our money back. But my mum said it's not the Sea Lions' fault. He's only human. Well, I'm no different from that sea lion. I mess things up. But hopefully, it'll make us stronger now. And the reason we're stronger is because the girl in the white dress sat here next to me. That's you. I know. Because she forgave me. She knew we were meant to be together. And if she loves me one millionth as much as I love her, I'm Bethany. Then I'm a very, very lucky man. Thank you. That's it. Do you know what I want to do when we get back? No. Upstairs, eh? No! Shh! Wake everyone up! Hey, hey, hey! Mm. If your mum comes down, I'll die. If my mum comes down, she'll die. <laughs> Come here, Mrs. Grimshaw. Oh, mister. Whatever will your wife say? Mm. Mm. It's getting boring, this. I'm like some old codger or something. Oh, just think, hey, when we're old and grey, hobbling down roads together, I'm romantic. Nah, you're all right. I'll trade you in for some younger model when you're about 30. Oh, gee. <laughs> Ow. I'd like to see you try. Uh, Come on. Oh, poor Jace. His knee was killing him this morning. Well, he's not exactly rushing back to work, is he? What are you saying? Oh, Davey, don't start. Look, he wakes up when he wants. He sticks on a bit of fill and firm. Kathy for 11s is. No, it's not his fault. Rovers for lunch. Oh, back to Roy's for tea. Yeah, well, he'll be back at work as soon as he can. Yeah, that's one thing you've got to say about Jace. He's a grafter. Oh, you know, darling, I'm so glad you're getting on better, you oh, two. All the lovely things he said to me last night. Just made me remember why I wanted to marry him in the first place. Oh! <laughs> Do you know the one thing that just could make it perfect? Ah, uh, now, please don't tell me you're planning another baby. Oh, grand, no, of course not. No, I want him to adopt Bethany. I just think we'd be like a proper family then. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Yeah. Hey, Bethany Grimshaw. That sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, so <laughs> sweet. Oh, <yeah. laughs> you alright? You can sit here if you want. Nah, I don't want to cause any more trouble. What do you mean? Well, you know, you've got to be loyal to Sarah and I don't blame you, I understand that. Well, it doesn't mean you can't talk to me. Well, look, all I want to say is that I'm sorry, you know, for what I did. It was selfish and I didn't have a thought for either you or Sarah on your wedding day. Yeah, well, you must have been in the right state, eh? Couldn't cope, really. Anyhow, I, I shouldn't be laying any of this on you. It's all right, it's fine, honest. Well, you know, like that day when I was in the war? Yeah. It's as though I was forced, you know, to make a choice. And I chose to live, sort of. Changed everything. I'll be wee in a minute, Cock. Yep. Now then, you. Here's your fry up, just the way you like it. Oh, cheers, Bex. Have you got any um, ketchup and brown sauce? Flipping it, shall I pee you a great while I'm here? No, I don't like fruit. How much are <laughs> you, love? Um, five pound ten. I can't give you no more discount now. Your wonky legs come right. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to chuck myself off that scaffold again, <laughs> eh? There you go. Ta. Going on a singles night? <laughs> Where? Actually, this is a private conversation. Oh, right. Well, it's just you said it, like you want to do it in corner to you. Is that a club in town? Which one? I'd rather not have an audience there, thanks very much. It's called the key to my heart party. 
All the women have locks round their necks, and the men have keys. They have to try and unlock them and see if they've got the key to your heart. What, and if they have got the key to your heart, do you have to sleep with them? Because what if you don't fancy them? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. It's um, more of an icebreaker, really. Oh, it's going. Still, though, we're single tonight, Claire. It's a bit desperate, isn't it? Look, <clears throat> if she snogs another fella, I mean, she's over her ass, I've done it. Hey, how come you know so much about my life? Oh, I can get streetcar radio signals on my iPod. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, you know, I just hear things like uh, this conversation. Sonic out of my ears. Will you snog someone? No. No? I don't think so. Ah, well, you never know, which means yes. Are you making my bacon bar my what? Look, if you want me to give you some help, you know, I'm choosing a top or a skirt. And I could give you some makeup at that. <laughs> Oh, Sally, I never realised you had a sense of humour. <laughs> what is the... I am so ashamed. I can't think what made me do it. I kissed him. I was drunk and disgusting and I kissed him. Yeah, they're right. The quiet ones are the worst. Was he a hunk? Was he? And is that all it was? Just one kiss. Just one kiss. No snogs, no hot creatures. I didn't know whether to wait inside or to go outside and wait on the pavement. But then he came in anyway. Who came in? It was so nice to see a friendly face, someone I knew. I was just so glad to see him. Kevin? You kissed my Kevin? I am so sorry. God, how could you? What were you thinking? I sort of pounced on him and he was that shocked. That's what sobered me up. I was shocked too. Why are you telling me? I don't know. Because well, I had to. I couldn't just sit here and pretend to be a friend. We are friends. <laughs> I am going to give him such a hard time. No, no, it was all my fault. Yeah, well, you know that and I know that, but he doesn't know that I know that. Do you know if I play this rap, I might get a night out. Oh, Claire, it was one kiss, one silly kiss. Get over it, love, I have. You've been so kind. I'm Ashley and Kevin. What you told Ashley? We're back together. <laughs> Peacock, that's brilliant. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, come here, give us a hug. Oh, oh, oh. oh is it, yeah? Hey, okay, Kev, right on cue, love. We were just talking about you. I ain't ever kiss and tell, eh? There you are. Right, you won't forget you've got to put Beth's bookcase up today. No. So when are you going to do it this morning? Probably, yeah. Right, and when you finish, can you have a hoover around our room? It's not been cleaned for ages. Right, and can you put this washing in the machine and get it dried? Because I've got nothing to wear for my shift at the restaurant tonight. Can I have my breakfast first, please? Well, that, um, washing one ironing? Actually, there is a top I could do with ironing. This one. Anything else need doing? Well, you are at home all day. Mm. I will never complain about going out to work ever again. You should count yourself lucky. Most women work and do housework. You off? Yeah. Only nine hours since I clocked off. Ooh, won't last forever. Mm. I love you, babe. I love you too. Mm. See you in a bit. Don't forget the washing. Fancy again, Jess. And you got a job to go to. Hey, off. Yeah, well, I can't. I've got too much to do. Gail, what number do these go on? What are they? Delicates? Sarah's clothes. Oh, 40. Come here. Right, when they dry, they'll put them outside. <laughs> Not in this weather, no. Put them on here and then iron them while they're still damp. Oh, no. What? It's a summons. What for? For driving without a licence or insurance. Well, when did you do that? Oh, right, yeah. When's it for? Well, that's not the point. Haven't I been through enough already? And now they want to punish me for it as well. It seems every time, Mum, that I'm putting it behind me, something happens to drag me back. Well, maybe.
maybe Jason could give you a game after all, eh? I've got the bookcase to do yet. Well, it's not going to take all day, is it? Still fancy that game, David? Come on. Can't say no to that. Yeah, go on then. See you later. See ya. Right, which one am I? Well, why don't I be the good guy for a change? Yes. Right, that's it now. <laughs> Just because you're losing. David, we've had about three games already. We've still got loads of stuff to do for Sarah yet. Do you think they'll be a jury at this thing? No, you'll just be with the magistrate's court. You'll get a fine, points on your licence, that'll be it, mate. They're already fining me for not having a licence. So what are they going to put points on? Well, when you do get one, then, you'll be in and out in ten minutes. Would you think they'll make allowances? For, you know, like, me being out of it when it happened. Maybe. I was just really messed up, you know? Yeah, well, you must have been to do what you did. Yeah, but I, I really screwed up your big day as well, Jason. I'm sorry. Like you say, you weren't in your right mind, were you? Yeah. It just kept building and building. Have you ever felt like that? Not really, no. Well, it's strange, you know, the images that you think of in your head when somebody wanted you dead. Like Richard. It's hard to explain, but it's almost as though you feel guilty for being alive, you know? Well, you've no reason to, all right. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense, though. I guess that's what mental damage does to you, you know? It's kind of crazy. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot my purse. <laughs> See you later. You know, David, if you've worked that out, maybe you can work out how to leave it behind you, eh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Can't tempt you out for a drink, then? Well, I'm supposed to help Bill plan the refit for this place. So where is he? Out on another job. Well, he'll know where to find you, won't he? Yeah. Actually, I could do with a drink after the morning hour. Oh, oh, lunchtime drinking. Been under wedge that. Oh, get away with you. It's the only pleasure <laughs> I get these days. Now, you're going to be here for the next half hour, aren't you? Because I'm expecting a deliverer. Sure. I wouldn't be going out for a drink, but I uh, don't want to go home. Why not? Just walked in on David and Jason. David was saying things. So? What do you mean? Saying about the damage he's had done to him. You know, mentally. Clammed up when I walked in. Oh, for goodness sake. Almost didn't sound like David. Maybe he can say things to Jason that he can't to us. But what home truths we'll have to face up to as a result. Actually, um, do you mind if I take my break now? Well, you said you'd mind the show. Yeah, um, but I have to nip to the precinct. Yeah, well, somebody's got to wait in for this delivery. I mean, you know, I've got Mrs Sunderland at one thirty. Please. No, Sarah, you will have to wait in. I mean, can you not do this shopping some other time? I suppose, yeah. Anyway, I'll get me cold. So. You needn't worry about Jason, you know. No? No. Hanging up your washing like a little professional. Sounds a bit morbid, though, doesn't it, what David was talking about? Well, that's just what I heard. And goodness knows what else he said to Jason. Maybe he's letting things out at last. Better out than in, as the saying goes. Just wish one of us had got to him months ago, before the wedding. Oh, now, Gail, don't start raking over all that again, please. I mean, the important thing is that he seems to have settled down a bit. I mean, maybe we've turned a corner. To God, you're right. We've turned more corners in the number 10 bus this last year. So. <laughs> Look, it can't go on like this forever. Who says? I mean, people go through their lives carrying the problems with them, don't they? Can't settle in a relationship, can't hold down a job. Look, he's only 16. You know, he'll come through it. I wouldn't be too sure. But, you know, if he does go back into himself, I'm going to have to get some proper help. What, like, like a psychiatrist? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to have to do something. I mean, trouble is, people just look at you as are you some sort of freak. I try to be normal, but yet people just go, oh, it's David Platt, isn't it? The weirdo. You should just stay in your box that we put you in. Look, mate, this is all dead interesting, that, but, you know, I've got stuff to do. 
Can we talk about this later, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I know it's, you know, a bit tricky for you. Why? Well, you sat here talking to me when you know Sarah hates me. Well, she can't expect me to live under the same roof as you and not talk to you. <laughs> yeah, she can. Anyhow, don't worry, I'm not gonna say out. Then again, there's not much point, is there? With my mum hearing us and that. Well, you can tell Sarah what you like. I've got nothing to hide. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see ya. Psych. I've done your egg yolk, Runny. I know you like to dip your chip. Nice one. Mm. Well, I'm shocked. I really am. Wow, it's up here. Well, I thought that boy Crockler reckoned himself to be one of them greens. Oh, he is. You can't move behind that counter for recycling buckets. It's a wonder I ain't got that, um deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> then why is the tap in the ladies running at full gush and won't turn itself off? In, is it? <laughs> you could have filled every lock in the Weatherfield Canal by the time I'd done my ablute. Sounds like a wash has gone to me. Well, I want a warning. I mean, I could hear it trickling last week when I was in. And it's running at such a lick now, it's a wonder it doesn't crack the porcelain. Oh, she's right. Well, you should have seen to it then, shouldn't you? A stitch in time. Oh, yes, yes, keep your hair net on. Oh, my goodness, is it any wonder we have host pipe bands all summer through? Jess, you couldn't help me out, could you? Becky, I'm doing stuff for Sarah today. Oh, come on, it won't take you that long, will it? Well, it depends what needs doing. Oh, but I could be flooded out and you're the only one that can help me. Please. Not for me. Have you done it? Three hours and a trip to the plumbers later, yeah. Oh, yes, you are my hero. I'm wrecked. So, let me take you for a drink, show my appreciation. I've got loads of stuff to do for Sarah yet. Yeah, well, you can't do everything, love. Well, I was meant to do it all this afternoon. Yeah, but when emergencies crop up, what can you do? You're only doing your job like she does hers. Yeah, I suppose. Go on, then. I'll knock off in half an hour. Let me take you to the Rovers for a quick one. Hey, and she's working tonight, so you can do that bookcase then, can't you? You'll get me in trouble, you. <laughs> Be at work in 20 minutes. When's Jason gonna put my bookcase up? You mean he hasn't done it yet? No, it's still in the box. <sighs> Mari, one lasagna and one seafood pasta. Table for one, sir. I've come to see Sarah, that's all right. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. I don't like my staff to be distracted while they're on duty, you know. What are you doing here? Well, I've not seen very much of you, so I thought I'd come here. And I'm sick of being on my own all the time. Aww. Tell you what, why don't you go and sit down? We're not that busy. Do you mind? No, of course not. I'll go and get you a drink. Cheers, Lee. So, what have you been doing all day? What? Well, you haven't done better bookcase when I popped in to change. I've had a nightmare day. Right, well, did you do it before you came here? No, because I had to go and... Oh, right. But you had time to talk to David all morning. Who told you that? Your mum? And you didn't iron that top, I asked you to. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. There we go. Cheers. And they'll uh, just leave the building for you. Thank you. So go on, then, what have you been doing? Um, he needed to talk. He needed to wrap you round his little finger, more like. Look, you, I nearly walked away because I knew you'd be hacked off. But he opened up like he never had before. I had to give him a chance. Right, so you can talk to him all morning. You can fix a tap in the cafe, but you can't put Beth's bookcase up. Well, it was an emergency, all right. Then why didn't he call for an emergency plumber? Who? Roy. He wasn't there. It was Becky. Becky? Yeah, she was there on her own. Oh, poor little Becky. Did Jason feel sorry for her? Well, that must have been very cosy, just the two of you. Well, and Dorian, and about six million other people, and I spent most of the afternoon looking for spare parts. Well, it's nice to know where your priorities are. The place could have flooded. Look, you, I will build you a bookcase, all right? It's not the end of the world if it's a day late. Well, why couldn't you do it tonight instead of coming here? Because I'm worn out and I want to spend time with you. So what did you do after you fixed her tap? Went home, had something to eat, came here. Starting to wish I hadn't. 
Safe to come in? Eh? When it taps new fixing or tiles replacing shelves. <laughs> no, you're all right. Oh, good. Mm. Well, in that case, I'll have one of my butties then, please. Yeah. Shouldn't you be working? Shouldn't you? Well, I'm on a break, so what's your excuse? Hey, I love. Do you want uh, coffee to go with that? Uh, no, you're all right. I'll take it with me. I've got loads of stuff to do for our server. Okay. Cheers. You reckon you can do it, eh? Yeah, no problems. Fairly straightforward job. Oh, to you, maybe. Right, you two for a brew. Yeah, I could murder one. Uh, two sugars for me, but. Right. If you want one, you can make your own. Yeah, well, I don't. Got a drink in calf earlier. It's all Jason in there. So? So? Just saying. You were chatting to that Becky? Well, he's hardly going to ask for what he wants in sign language, is he? You know, she's a funny one, huh? She's got a right gob on her. Mm, I don't know why the employer. She's not exactly customer friendly. Jason seems to think she's friendly. He's always chatting with her. Look, if you're trying to suggest something... I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying that's all. They get on. I mean, how they went to the pub together yesterday and... What do you mean they went to the pub? Well, yesterday did a job for her and after that they went for a drink. All right. I don't think they meant I'll buy it. I mean, he's not like that, is he? I never said he was. Right. Anyhow, you've just got married. I mean, he's not going to go looking at someone else, is he? So, go on, what do you think? Yeah, it's lovely. What's up with you? Thought you'd be well pleased. Yeah, I am. Look, I wasn't going to mention anything, right, but... Did you go for a drink with Becky yesterday? Jason. It was only to say thanks for fixing that tap. You mean you did? Well, she was going anyway, and you know me, I don't turn down a free drink. I was now in it. Why didn't you mention it? Because you were mad enough without me mentioning I'd gone for the pint and all. Hey, look, that was all there was to it, honest. Babes, do you really think I fancy anyone else but you? Eh? She's good looking. She's a stick insect. She's available. Well, I'm not. Well, as long as you know that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come back, eh? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Shut up along, Cassidy. Bill, it doesn't stop me doing other stuff. Please, come on. It's doing me head in being stuck at home all the time. My friend in your ragged, is she? Yeah, well, that as well. I'm sorry, lad. It is not worth the insurance risk. Not till you've got the all clear. Hiya. 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 Anyone fancy a game of darts? <laughs> oh, look at this, got his own hand. Serious dart player, aren't we? No, just think I am after a few pints. <laughs> so, either of you talk for it? Hey, I am, if you want to make it doubles. Uh, you're right, lads, I'll sit out on this one, eh? Are you sexist or something? No. So why can't I play? No reason. All right, go on, then. Best of five legs? Better make it three, or you'll have me guts for garters. Sir, have I done something to offend you? No, of course not. So why are you blanking me? I'm not. Look, Becky, I'm sorry, it's just... I don't want you to think I'm coming on to you, out. Why would I think that? I don't know, you just might. You've only just got married. Yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah, so if you were coming on to me, I'd tell you where to go. Sorted? Sorted. Right, soft lad. Let's go hammer him. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, Harris! Get him, Bex. <laughs> so much for having your own darts, eh? <laughs> well, what can I say, lads? Beginner's luck. Well... That and the fact that I used to play for pints in my local. You never said. You never asked, Rog. Nice one. Tell you what, best of five. Oh, I'm knackered. I'm going home to my bed. Yeah, me too. Best get back. So, back from the restaurant soon. Quick game of shingles, then. See ya. See ya, Tucker. Okay. Double start? Yeah. Looking at nothing. <laughs> oh, I see. Don't you dare say anything. I wouldn't. Are you? You back? Yeah. Mm. Oh, you've been drinking. 
Yeah, just a couple. And Bill bought them. Right, so you with Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? No. Oh, Roger was there with Bill. Do you want a brew? Yeah, all right. Jason left early this morning. Bill's pricing a job. Beck told the measuring tape. I've never known a boy in this work as much as him. Like a dog without a bone. Doesn't stop him sniffing round that Becky. Sarah! Oh, he's always in the cafe. Now she's got him slaving for a problem with the taps. Yeah, pull the other one. Nothing's been the same since the wedding. Everyone has their ups and downs. Oh, I can't lose him. You won't. You just got to trust each other. You know, a year ago, I wouldn't give that lad the time of day. Now I wouldn't have you with anybody else. If anyone deserves the benefit of the doubt, it's him. What about that Becky? You let that girl know her place. Three weeks. Okay. It's a quality haircut, that. What's that supposed to mean? It's called a compliment. Oh, when did you start dishing them out? I just thought it might cheer up. Well, then try leaving and never coming back. Now, was that called for? David, please. Well, Grant, she's the one having a pop, and if it's not me, it's Jason. Oh, I'm warning you, don't even go there. Would you leave your sister alone, David, please? Grant, I'm sorry about her coming here to get away from well, all nobody this. nobody asked you to stay. Well, I think you'll find Mum did. More fool her. Oh, Sarah, that is enough. How many times have I got to tell you not in front of the customers? So I've got enough worry with all this refurbishment without your stupid squabbles driving my regulars away. Well, you don't expect me to apologise, do you? I expect you to set an example. Gwen, you always take his side. I am not taking anybody's side, Sarah. Look, I am running a salon, not a creche. I just want you both to act professionally, OK? Fine, whatever. Yeah, I shall be having words with David, don't worry. Anyway, I've said my piece, so... Come on, so... You OK? Do you want a minute? No, I'm fine. I mean, is there something you Grand, want to talk... I said I'm fine. Wonder you could have warned me about the woman. What, a bit of an handful, was she? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? It's like a bad carry-on film. Talk about double entendres. Kept calling as a suggestive digestive. And that was before I even got my toolbox out. Oh, I bet you love your plunger. Hey, don't even kid. That woman's a flipping menace. Who's the menace? Oh, some job Bill and him lumped me with. Mrs Shapiro, the swinger from Swinton. Oh, right, nice, is she? She's in her 60s, babe. Same era as a hemline. Skirt up to here. Oh, you wouldn't. Oh, I've got to wear it. <laughs> well, on that note, I wish you both adieu. See you. See you later, pal. Take it easy. Right, should we go get something to eat? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, where are you off to? Rovers. Nothing, just fancy the pint. Fine, whatever you want. Good. Have you seen a red notebook? I might have left it here yesterday. Oh, valuable, is it? No, not really. Oh, do you see it? Sorry? Go on, you can tell me. Uh, no, just my recipe book, actually. Oh, boring. Roy, red notebook, love. Uh, two umbrellas and uh, a paperback novel of dubious quality. That would be a no. Listen, top tip. You've got to retrace your steps, yeah? Pitch away your last saw it and take it from there. Go. Oh, restaurant, kitchen, had a leak. Mm -hmm. Cashed up, shared a taxi on Willie. Better have left it in the taxi. There you go. You are a star. I have my moments, love. How are you? You all right? Hi. Yeah, what can I get you? What can you offer? Well, the uh, specials are on board. Shepherd's pie, please. Yeah, I'll have same. Go. Bread and butter, brown sauce on the side. Spot on. You know what he likes, then? Yeah, well, it's my job. Actually, it's mine. Goes with the ring. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Although nothing's as gorgeous as my Jason. Hmm. We'll be over there. Come on. Oh, um, before I forget, we're doing a special offer at the salon for colour and cuts next week. Might want to get your roots done. Come again. Be be Becky, I, I noticed that our supply of cheese appears to be running a little low. Could you check the fridge, please? Now. <laughs> Is there anything I could help you with? No, we're OK, Roy. <clears throat> what was that all about? It's just a bit of friendly advice. It's a girl thing. <laughs> Oh, it's Jason, apologising for earlier. Do you know, he's a total gent, that lad. God knows what he sees in that cat. 
I'm sure Sarah has many admirable qualities. Yeah, right. You saw how she treated me, Roy. Highlights. Yeah, well, she's lucky I didn't give her head a side parting. Perhaps she's feeling uh, threatened. <laughs> of me? Don't be daft. Well, you do. <laughs> how shall I put this? Display a certain overzealous familiarity with her husband. What? Oh, you mean that I flirt? Oh, come on, Roy. I flirt with everyone. It's just a bit of harmless fun. I make no judgment. <sighs> Flipping it, Roy. You really do know how to wee on a girl's bonfire, you know. What is the world's longest human made structure? Is it? Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China, Dave. Is the correct no answer. way you knew that. I'm a builder, aren't I? Mm, not as thick as David looks. Find out if it'll be Helen who goes through to the final after the break. Can you explain why you're getting a text from Becky? Because I sent her one earlier. Look, don't go off on one. I had to check she was OK after what happened before. Why what happened before? Shut up, David. So you're apologising for me now? Yeah, I do it all the time. Babes, I eat there and I work opposite. I haven't done anything wrong. Are you not still going on about the hair stuff? What do you say? None of your business. Can we just forget about it? Please. I don't like you texting her. Well, I won't then. Well, any other girls? You two kissed and made up yet. Mmm. Happy now? Yeah, my heart's bursting. Does that mean we're OK? If you want us to be. I do. OK. Thanks. You're the best. Kiss. I have my moments. Two kisses. Nice one. It's too easy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to nip over to the yard now. There's this invoice book that needs looking at before it gets out of hand. Well, I can go and get it for you if you like. No, you are. I need the exercise. I'll stop you getting fat. Just more me to love. Why not just switch it off instead? Well, we'd have to talk to each other then. <laughs> that mine? Uh, no, Jason's. Do you know, I'll have to get my ringtone changed. That many mobile phones in here, you never know whose it is. Did I ever send you a text? Or oh, you've had a message? Just borrowed your tools, Bill. See you in a bit. You all right? I'm now seeing you. Oh. You know, I won't worry about what our Sarah says. Me? You mistake me with someone who gives a toss. It's just, she's only having a go at you about Jason because she's struggling with married life. And she told you that, did she? You're joking, aren't you? It's not exactly rocket science, is it? I mean, they're always at each other's throats. Yeah, well, it's none of my business, love. See ya. I just thought you might like to know. Uh, we got something to discuss before you go. Like what? Like, have you got your right mobile? What kind of a marriage have you got to look forward to if you don't trust your own husband already? I just sense suddenly he's more interested in Becky than he is me. Oh, give over. You've got enough pressure on you with him being off work. Don't go looking for stuff that's not there. Sorry. Go on, get going. See you later. 
Oh, they're keeping you busy, I see. <sighs> Washing day. This lot go through clean clothes faster than they go through food, and that is saying something. We had to show them where the machine was. Yes, thank you very much. White's on 60, Cullen's on 40. No flies on me, eh? Your Jodie's got you domesticated, then. Good for uh, her. Well, I think it's more of a case of running out with socks and underpants. Where is she, anyway? I haven't seen her for ages. She's gone away. She's, um... I don't know. We had a difference of opinion, you know. One of them things. She said this way she wouldn't have to kill him. Didn't she, Dad? Yeah. Well... My fault. What can you say? You can put your washing in. Come in for a cuppa. What, aren't you well? I uh, mustn't be. <laughs> Thanks, but, uh, well, we're going to have some of that quality time, aren't we, kids? Dad? Uh, yeah, all right, give us ten minutes. Come on. Okay. Well, it saves me doing it, eh? No, I'm being serious. Listen, um, I know that I was being funny about you texting Becky and that. I've told you, it was nothing. I was having a laugh like I would do with anyone. Yeah, I know, and I, I do trust you. It's just, well, sometimes if I'm a bit weird about us and that, it's because I get scared sometimes and I can't help it. Tell you what, you work hard, you two, don't you? So what you say, Gorge? Hey, I'm stuck with you. Yeah, damn right, yeah. <laughs> you can phone, text anyone you want. I've just been daft and uh, I'm over it now. Hey, do you that, David? I can text or phone whoever I want, can't I, babe? Yeah, anyone except him. You said I could text or phone whoever I wanted, oh. right? <laughs> right? Can he now? Oh, you Excellent. Reckon? I've got visions of opening the front door and being washed up the street by a big wave of soap bubbles. <laughs> I think your Kaylee knows what she's doing. Oh, you can say that again. I think that's half the trouble. Anyway, you don't need me bending your ear all afternoon about my family problems, eh? Why not? Makes a change from worrying about me own. Somehow, I don't think I've been the world's best parent over the years. Join the club. And I don't think I've been the world's best neighbour either so far, have I? Well, like you say, we can all change. You know me putting on our Jody. The main reason why she did a runner, I suppose, is because I never quite got used to doing without Teresa. Your wife? God bless her, the old dragon. <laughs> anyway, Jody must have seen how rubbish I was and thought, no way I'm leaving the kids along with that loser. So here we are, eh? You think you took her for granted? Oh, I know I did. So she's well out of the way, I hope. Having a proper life for the change. Instead of picking up after her old man. Good luck to her. Well, she's a good girl. They all are, in their way. So you must have done something, right? Mine, on the other hand. All right, David. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Tea and biscuits. You'll be getting best china out next. It doesn't try to be obnoxious. It just comes naturally to him. Yeah, well, I must get it from somewhere, mustn't I? Maybe it's time I went back and unflooded my kitchen. All right, then. Have you got your dinner money? No. Uh, have you given her a dinner money? No. It's in her bag. Is it in your bag? Oh, thanks, Mum. I'll give it you back. Ah, oh, it don't matter. Yeah, it does. We'll pay you back. Once the doc signs me back at work today, we'll pay you back every penny. That's what mums and grands are for. Well, you're still limping, aren't you? I'm fine. Yeah, pardon me for caring. Right, come on, because you're going to be late for school. I'll see you later. Mm. 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 Are you going to come and have some lunch with uh, us? No, I don't think so. Maria's in a bit of a state, so I've got myself a roll. I'm going to sit with her in the salon. Oh, Stephen phoned again. Is he coming? Yes, Monday for a couple of weeks. Oh, we'll have to talk about Christmas then. Yes, we will. Oh, let's get back to Marie. Bye. Oh, that's great. Yeah, be nice. Though. Well, hello, stranger. <laughs> Long time no see. I know. I've been looking for you. Fancy a quick one at Rovers. Ah, I can't. Sorry, but do you fancy doing something tonight? Something special? Oh, I do, I do, I do. All right, let's make it a big one then, eh? I like the sound of your answer. Call for me at seven. Freshly washed and ready for action. Can't wait. I'm <laughs> Never fear, the cavalry is here. It's about time. Hey, I've only got one pair of hands. Yeah, you've only got one pair of lungs, too. Oh, don't start, Roy. You know you only smoke because it's dress. Well, look, I understand your addiction to tobacco, but if you could limit your intake during our busiest periods, I would be grateful. I'll try, all right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. If customers need service. I 
can't concentrate on work when I've lost my mobile. You lose your mobile every five minutes. Yes, it's like I'm cut off from rest at world. Yes, and the world keeps turning, keeps needing food. Oh, have you seen it? No. Oh, that is the fourth one this year. Well, why don't you dial it, see where it rings? Good idea. Can you remember the number? See you later. Ignore it. Bye, Jason. What was it there? Three, two, one, go. Do you know how long it takes a Premier League footballer to recover from this kind of ligament damage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Four months minimum. Who is it? What? Text. No one. No one? It was Becky, yeah? Becky? Yeah. What's she want now? Nothing. Oh, right, so she just texts you to say, hi, Jason, nothing. No. Well, why the secrecy? Why are you acting like you got something to hide from me? I'm not hiding anything well, from you. Well, you still not told me what was in the text message. Because I don't want to upset you, that's well, all. Well, I am upset. So that didn't work, did it? Cream cakes going cheap. What's that mean? It's just a joke. It's not funny. Do you think it's funny? Well, she sells cakes, doesn't she? Three kisses. Hey? Well, three kisses. I mean, one kiss. That's just being friendly. Three kisses mean something. Well, I don't know, maybe a finger slips. Look, it's only a bit of fun. I'm hungry. Do you want a kebab? Mm, yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, hiya. You all right? Yeah. Not funny. Yeah, I'm doing the old man a favor. Does she give you free cakes? No. Get discount. What is this? I thought you trusted me. How can I trust you? You've been sneaky with me all the time. Sarah, it's just a daft text. With three kisses. I am just saying she's got to be careful because Ring's date. Oh, my darling. Diamonds never date. Maria knows that. You look at Princess Di and that sapphire. Who would choose a monster rock like that now? If you go too flash, get it wrong. It's a lifetime of regret. All oh, right, so that's why Jason didn't go so flash then. I always thought you liked the Christmas cracker look. <laughs> Jason doesn't own a half factory. Ah, he doesn't own a mobile at the minute either. Found that outside on Puff. Anyone could have picked it up. Thanks. Fiver says you won't last hour, Sarah. You know you'll read his text. Oh, now, don't be mean. Yeah, as if. We're not all paranoid, you know. Is she milking that cow, Roy? I beg your pardon? Two coffees to go, is it too much to ask? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, the milk. Um. Tell you what, uh... I've got a jelly there. No, no, apologies. They, these, these are on the house. Sugar? Ah, right, two in each. Tell you what, Roy. You want to put a bomb under there? <sighs> there we are, Bill. Please do call again. One pound sixty, please. Uh, From now on, you pay for every customer that you lose. But it's driving me crazy. Yes, well, it always does. My nana boy's not well, right? I'm in a competition to win a year's supply of cider, and I gave my number to a fella last week. What if he rings? What if they all ring, and I never get the call? 
What if? Yes, it's a, it's a Hardy-esque dilemma, but please debate it in your own time. Oh, not again. Can't you turn that blinking thing off? Uh, no, not really, Gran. Jason might phone it. But well, why on earth would anyone ring their own phone? To see if somebody else has found it. I'm amazed he manages a full day's work with all them texts. And you're amazed he's got that many friends. Yeah, well, that as well. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You reading his messages? Thought you weren't the paranoid type. Yeah, I'm not. It might be something important. Jason, look what's going on. <laughs> Jenny, I owe you a pint, lad. Yeah, cheers, mate. What are you so pleased about? That's Denny Kelly. What, the spark? Good lad, yeah. Did a few jobs with him back in the day. Any road, he's just landed a very plump contract in work for it. Victoria Street. How at Victoria Street? New build, big and 20 odd flats. You're kidding. Decent spec and all. I get a rig on. I might be some work in it for us. Nice one, pal. Do you want to tell me now? Or shall I just go down to Roy's Rolls and find out truth? Do you recognise this? Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, with a bunch of kissy-kissy messages from your bit on the side. What? Don't act daft. Who's acting? We haven't even finished off our wedding cake. And you do this with Becky from a cap. She's minging. I haven't done anything. Jason, I have seen the messages. It's supposed to be private. Yes, and the ones from you to her. So? Jokey texts. Late night text, text with kisses on the bottom of it. And all you can say to me is it's private. What are you talking about? Becky hardly ever sends me texts, and when she does send me texts, it's normally about cream cakes or something. Sarah, wait! Were you seeing her before the wedding? I'm not seeing her. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Like you said she wants sending kisses with a text. Yeah, well, she didn't Well, you know what? That. I've seen it for myself now, and it ain't a slip of the finger. It's every flaming time. What did you take me for? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So while I'm slugging my guts out of the land road, you're sneaking off to a bail stool. Hey, I am not sneaking out I anywhere. I am slugging my guts out so we can get a place of our own. What a mug. Sarah, just listen to me, please. Ah! I'm sorry, all right? Look, how many times do you want me to say it? I don't. Oh, at last he speaks. Because you're apologising for the wrong thing. And I've told you over and over again, I told you on our wedding day, when everyone sane had left the church. You're the only one I love. Messages, scent box. Becky. Becky. Becky! Oh, I'm honoured. Sarah. Becky. Mum. Bill. Becky, Becky, Becky. Well, I've not sent that many texts. Just give it here. Look at the stuff you sent her. I like skinny blondes, exclamation mark, two kisses. Well, you're a skinny blonde and I don't remember sending that. I have my moments. I told you I never sent All it. All right, and why have you sent her that? Because she sent you. Thanks, you're the best. Yeah, best liar. I swear on Beth's life. Why don't you dare bring Beth into this. Well, you've got to believe me. Jason, the proof is staring you in the face. This must be a wind-up because I never sent this stuff, all right? Well, you did then the phone fairy. I don't know. Becky, maybe she thought it'd be funny or I've done something to wind you up. Either way, she sent them texts to herself, right? From your phone? Well, she must have done it when my back was turned. I don't know. Uh, ah! Don't treat me like I'm stupid. Sarah, I wouldn't do that. Even if you haven't done anything. What do you mean, even if? Well, you've got to admit it looks bad. I mean, this... Secret friendship. She with works her. in the calf, and I talk to her in the calf. <laughs> Why, Stephen, the message? Shut, Shut up, up David. David. I don't understand what you think so secret about it. She's got your number. I'm a builder. Half of Weatherfield have got my number. I'm a builder with a duff leg and a dodgy hand now. You don't send flirty text to half of Weatherfield. Who's been sending flirty text? Jason, I'm going out my mind. You're going out your mind. How do you think I feel, eh? You know, I have told you till I'm blue in the face, I am not messing around. 
I swore on the most precious thing we've got. And do you believe me? No. I want to believe you. No, you don't. How can you? But Jason is there. He's in black and white. What am I supposed to think? For better, for worse. That's what you're meant to think. Till tax do his part. Oh, David! Jason, where are you going? I can tell you where I'm not going. Becky's. Will you believe me? There we are. Oh, it'd be really strange this Christmas, going buying presents. Do you not partake in the usual traditions? You mean giving presents and that? Yeah, of course I do. First time for years I've actually paid for stuff, though. Oh. <sighs> Store detectives were that busy this time of year. Nicking her a piece of cake. Ha! <laughs> Christmas cake! Get it? <laughs> oh, the season for giving. Me and my mates used to give them a right run around. <laughs> well, please don't give in to temptation this year. Oh, there's no need. No, I'm only getting one present this year. Something for a very special man. Oh, you, you have a boyfriend? I have no idea. Roy, you're the only fella in my life. Now. Who chooses your clothes? You are really? Well, I'm not really much of a clothes person. No, you need a change of image. Do it world of good. I don't think Trust so. me. Have you uh, got time, Roy? It is noon, exactly. Ah. Are you going somewhere? No. Only that's the third time this morning. Yeah, my watch is broke. I thought I might buy myself a new one. You know, after Christmas. Oh, yes, yes. Well, there's always some bargains to be had in the sales, yes. Some lunch. Oh, it's all bad now to eat or drink all morning. Hey, I've not been to the cafe, that's Rogers. Did I say anything? Yeah, well, you didn't need to. Rog, short coffee, ain't it? Oh, that's where I left it. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Not left the yard all morning, have I? Not as far as nowhere. Right, leave it now, I believe you. Hey, drill I borrowed. Cheers, pal, nice one. Gotta see who that is. So that you look. I've got notes where I go on. Is this a wind up? Eh? It's hurt again! Do you want to meet up later? I could hear you. Are you two doing this on purpose to wind me up? No, of course not. I have had enough! Sarah, wait! Sarah! Ready for Christmas? Well, there's plenty to look forward to before then. What do you think we're playing at? Who are you talking to? Sarah's just Yeah, do you see this? Yeah, it means he's married, right? So keep your scabby hands off. <laughs> Is she handsome or just mental? What, do you think I don't know you've been texting him all the time? Uh, I haven't. Uh, liar! What, do you think he's going to be interested in a mingle like you? Can we just keep this down a little, please? <gasps> you don't call me names like that and expect to keep your teeth. Well, what do I call a sad, desperate slag that's trying to steal my husband? Right, you, outside. No, 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 please! Help me! Ever, Stop, just now. Please. You no. want to fight? Right! Hey, no! Roy, no, help me, please! No! No, 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 no! She's mental! No! Don't you dare apologise to her. You want him that much, you have him. If you haven't already. You do know I didn't start that. I know it's the second time this week there's been an altercation between you and a customer. Right, she were a customer. She came in here looking for a row. And you were only too happy to oblige. <sighs> what do you expect Sarah to do when you keep sending me these daft texts? Oh, I haven't sent you any flaming texts. I've got them here. Give me that. Right. I didn't send these. Becky, it's your number. Oh, I'd lost my phone days oh, yeah. ago. How convenient, oh, eh? No, Be Becky, Becky has mentioned this. And we, we, we've searched the premises. Yeah, I told you it'd been nicked. And assuming that this is the case, then I think you'll find the thief is the one behind the messages. So do I get an apology? Eh? Yeah. Sorry, Becky. I don't know how you've got the nerve, my lad. This is all a big mistake, this. Yeah, mistake for marrying you. Are you going to let me explain or what? Oh, you and I got a little story worked out, have you now? She lost her phone days oh. ago. Oh, is that really the best you can do, Jason? I thought you got more about you than to behave like this, you Go know. Go on, ring it now. Ring it! <laughs> She's not going to answer, is she, when you tell her not to? You flaming muppet! No, listen, what, what Come here. No, no! You little brat! Look, Jason, do you want to let me explain? <laughs> Why well, you really kill yourself, eh? You're all the same about it. Come here. 
You are the nastiest little swine alive. What, you call me nasty? He just said you wanted me dead. Can you blame me? It's one psycho stunt after another with you. You just can't help yourself. How sick can you get? Nearly killing Beth, then faking your own suicide just so you can stop my wedding. And then you failed with that, so now you're trying to wreck my marriage. Well, I wasn't faking it, Sarah, all right? And everybody else can believe me. No, you don't fool me. You love yourself too much. Why on earth did you do it, David? Oh, how many times have we asked that question? Grant, I was just having a bit of fun, all right? And to be honest, it was better than what I expected. Did you know it was so easy to make you think Jason were copping off with Becky? I've told you before, Sarah. You don't need me to wreck your marriage. You can do that yourself. Right. David, out. And don't expect to get paid for today, either. You know, I'll to say to The more you react, the more he likes it. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I must get back to work. Hey. What are you still doing here? Having a drink. Or three. Well, let's go, Pop. No time. What's the matter? Oh, Jason, I am sorry. I know. I know I shouldn't have gone on about those texts. No. But look, it's all over now. Oh, flaming David, I'll kill him one of these days. This isn't about David, Sarah. This is about me and you. He's right about one thing. You were doing a better job of wrecking our marriage than he ever could. Well, this is what he wants. Me and you, Rowan. We've been married five weeks. You don't trust me, you don't believe me. I said that I'm sorry. Not only did you think I was having an affair. I didn't. You thought I was rubbing your nose in it. How sick is that, Sarah? Sometimes I think you're as mental as he is. Where are you going? I'm going to the pub. Turn the lights off when you leave, eh?